uh, introduce yourself and your piece and a little bit about what inspired you, a little background uh, on your piece, and then I'll open it up to the audience if you have any questions. Hi, um, I'm Allie Leonard. Uh, I wrote and um, starred in Convenience. Um, and unfortunately, the inspiration is because I was locked in the bathroom. Um, so it comes from personal experience. It does. Very deep personal experience. Um, yeah, so, and, you know, truth is stranger than fiction. So. And how was shooting? What's your favorite part of shooting? It was awesome. Um, it was so much fun. We, I'm from LA, and so we shot in LA, and um, we found this convenience store that we literally had to do nothing to because it was so much in uh, shambles. <laughs> I, don't, I honestly don't know if it's still open. Um, and we did nothing to the bathroom. It was like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and my, uh, my mentor, Keith Powell, directed, um, and he like really just had a great vision for the whole thing. And yeah, feel very lucky. Thank hey, you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And my uh, short was another round, but in the beginning. Cool. And uh, I just I saw a story on Facebook of a woman who saw a guy put a roofie in a girl's drink, but in real life they called the cops and went to jail. But I tried to sort of fill in my own version of what would happen to the people. Yep. And uh, yeah. And what was your favorite part of shooting? Or the worst part? Was it difficult? Uh, we can only get in the bar from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. I'm uh, Kyle Lucero. Uh, my film was Deserter. I uh, played towards the beginning. Um, my inspiration for it was I had read up a little bit on deserters during the Civil War and how I believe it was um, one in four had deserted by the end. And I was really interested in that journey and um, just some of the experience people would have in that. And I thought I'd show a way to portray it, you know, and have them meet someone on their side, but they share that. Um, Great. And what was yeah. your favorite part of the whole process from beginning to end? Yeah. Um, favorite part was probably when I first saw the actors in uniform, and mm -hmm. just, it kind of felt real. Like all that months of planning had felt real in a way. Um, the worst part was it being an overnight shoot. Yeah. Overnight <laughs> shoot. Overnight shoot. Yeah. Overnight shoot. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, exactly. All right, great, thank you. Hello there, I'm Johnny Greenlaw. I directed Three Grand Souls. And um, uh, what inspired me was Jimmy's script, so I'll let him explain that. But uh, I just love uh, filmmaking and making movies and uh, being with you all today. So thank you for that. And I'll let Jimmy. All right. I'm uh, James Thomas Smith. I'm the uh, writer, actor, producer, and composer of Three Grand Souls. Question. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired you about this piece? Uh, give us any background. I'm so yes. independently freaking wealthy, I have nothing better to do with my money. Good <laughs> <laughs> films for now. Um, I have some friends that were special forces, and uh, that's a real thing. They, Some of them are deemed unavoidable. They have so much PTSD, and uh, one buddy got three grand a month. And then I just, you know, I wrote a really twisted little love story, a little dark love story. Great, <laughs> okay. okay, your favorite part, beginning to end? Was there one? I actually just, I love acting, you know, yeah. and then when you write a part for yourself, they have a great director, and you know, it's just... It all comes together. Yeah, I just, I just love being the acting. I mean, the other, whatever, 23 and hours and 22 minutes that you're not acting on set, because mm -hmm. yeah. it drags yeah. sometimes, but with the <laughs> well, when you really get to get in there and act, and whether it's my thing or someone else's, it reminds me why, oh yeah, this is why I do it. Yeah. Great. Thank you, guys. <coughs> yeah, my name is Sam Directed uh, Two Strangers, a uh, little really long lap, uh, outro credits. It took like 40 minutes. So, yeah, I wrote this with Zena Wild, who's a very talented actress, writer, producer. Um, and uh, the genesis for the idea was more or less kind of the concept of playing with subtext, less is more, like misconnections. Um, we sort of talked about this idea of role playing and how these two people are trying to connect, yet the only time they're really happy is when they're pretty much acting. So it's pretty sad. Sorry, it was a pretty depressing concept, but uh, that was sort of the genesis of the film. So. Great. 
Thank you. Um, Cole, thanks for being here, everyone. I um, love to see the theater packed out. That was our first screen, and the film I was expecting um, about the pregnant woman who's trying to decide whether or not she's going to keep her child. So I was the writer and director of that piece. And um, yeah, I guess what originally the genesis of that was just sort of the image of a pregnant woman holding a Bluetooth speaker to her belly. Um, and um, that sort of led to a, a whole bunch of questions for me about how someone is in that situation and decides to do that. So we just sort of started there and built it up from that. Great. And uh, shooting, how was shooting? How long did you guys shoot? Uh, we shot for, I think it was three days in Brooklyn. Um, and shooting was great. I mean, every, I was really, really lucky um, to surround myself with just people that were super talented. Um, I could go on and on about each person, but um, like Sarah in particular, who played um, Grace in this, had a film here last night. So, um, you know, every single person involved is, you know, a filmmaker and brought a lot to my little idea to make it better. So that was great. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Uh, my name's John Wager. I uh, wrote and directed uh, Brooklyn Baby, and uh, it was um, inspired, I guess, you know, it, it's by so many things that are happening right now, and I'm a son of an immigrant, and it's just been kind of like a way to, for me to kind of start the conversation. It was just, you know, so much going on with immigration, and uh, in the world right now, so it, it was uh, it was great, and um, got to work with my daughter, the star, uh, <laughs> the, 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 an amazing job, and uh, yeah, so uh, that was part of the inspiration. Um, as far as shooting goes, yep. uh, the interesting the opening scene where it was snowing out, well, it was supposed to be a winter shoot, and we kept putting it off, and now it's like the beginning yeah. of April, so it's like <laughs> kind of wintery, but not quite. So we we didn't plan on doing that opening scene, but all of a sudden it starts snowing out. And we didn't have all the, you know, it's all, everyone's volunteering, we didn't have the right gear, we needed like three more people with umbrellas. We just did it anyway, so you know, Isabella's lips were like blue by the time we were finished, and it was, the camera was getting wet and going freaking out, and, but we did it, we got the shot. We, like, we literally only had like three takes before everybody said we gotta, we weren't dressed for it, so, so that was fun. We were shot in two and a half very long days, so it was, uh, you know, I wanted to keep, you know, there was no budget, so I just wanted to keep it in one location. And uh, so it was, it was pretty, pretty crazy. You want to say anything? Hi, Isabella. <laughs> um, I don't know. How was shooting for you? Shooting was interesting. Um, yeah, shooting with my dad was fun. <laughs> um, no, it was great. It was, um, the, the snowing scene was definitely a challenge. My face like kept turning like super red, um, but yeah, it was it was great. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. And then last one. Yeah, like your own film. I was a director of film and also a story. I was inspired by because it's just a real story. I've been a part of that story. Uh, probably you remember what I'm talking about. The action, starting with the action, car chase, mm -hmm. and the end of, end of the film. We are trying to explain what is happening inside all that. I was really, I want just to really say, appreciate to my team, to, for five scenes, Alex, to, yeah. for acting to all, they did just an incredible job. And yeah. we, <laughs> to make this film, because you know, this is not just a scene to, make, to put a tripod the camera, this is just, you're gonna make an action part, it's a super uh, dangerous things that you're gonna do, but, this team, the crew supported me. I want to really appreciate it for that support. Exactly, to all Alex, the other guys. And the main thing that I want to appreciate to my wife is she was an ex executive, <laughs> executive by the producer, and she supported me to make, to <laughs> realize this project. That's a great part. And what I want to say, I've been a part of this story. Mm -hmm. I uh, bought it 10 years ago after the accident. We tried to make him happy. I'm talking about Orhan, the hero. And we made a lot of experiments, treatment methods. We just practiced a lot of methods. But at the end of this method, after six months, we found the power of imagination method that you can do a lot, you can do all you want, just you should imagine all that. And then after power of imagination treatment method, we found the, uh, found the way to make his uh, 
everybody happy and then I'm very proud of this and also that was what I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. Okay, I appreciate great. It so much. Great, thank you. Hi, I'm Julie. I'll be quick. Um, I could act in fire and water. Uh, what inspired us, my co-director came up to me and wanted to tell a story that her, her mom is the inspiration, really. And it's about, like, women slowly starting to feel invisible. And so we kind of tried to do some, make something poetic from what she felt like her mom was feeling inside. And um, I mean, during the shoot, I, I, we were in Italy in a villa for a week, mostly women filmmakers. So it goes without saying that it was fun. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So really quickly, I'll open it up to the audience. Does anyone have any questions for any of the filmmakers here? Quiet crowd. <laughs> One. Okay, we got two hands there. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Sam, right? Yeah. Hey, congrats on your film. I Thank really you. liked it. Uh, so you wrote, act, uh, acted, and directed the film. Yeah. Did you find, I know it's very challenging to do yeah. all of that. Uh, what did you find most challenging? And did you have any, you know, situations that you had to sacrifice? Uh, anything? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, when you're wearing a lot of hats like that, it's uh, it's definitely challenging. And I think one of the biggest uh, struggles with, with that process is coverage, because you know I have an amazing friend of ours mutually who's an incredible uh, AD who did an incredible job with very limited time. I think it was a three-day shoot total, with one reshoot day because we had the same issue with weather being completely different on the other day. One day it's snowing, so it's yeah. yeah. But I would say, yeah, just covering, I wasn't able to get as much coverage as I would have wanted if I was just directing. And, um, you know, when you're acting, you're sort of, you have to have your moment, you have to be in this zone, and then you're also thinking about getting this, and then, you know, yeah, that was the biggest, biggest struggle, so. Yeah, a lot of hats there. Yeah. Okay, great, uh, and one last question here. Uh -huh. I wanted to say, first of all, that um, I've been to many, 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 many film festivals, um, and this was one of the strongest blocks of short films I I've ever seen. <laughs> to the director of Let Me Run, um, do you foresee, is there any way <laughs> that you can achieve a feature length film about this man? Yeah, that, that, that's the main point that when we started to make this short, and the, the first Puma project, when I started the project, the main point to make a feature, but just to finish with this short. Yeah, we, we have a, a script for a feature and then we have a plan with it. Yeah. Good. Good luck. <laughs> Okay, great. We, we have a lot of stories. There is one we cannot stop with just a little part. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right, great. Thank you thank guys you. so much for an incredible night. Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> and have a